Hey there, you guys, it's me again, the Metaverse Explorer. I am back again with another episode of Red Fox Labs, The Vault, where we look at uh, and keep you up to date on everything happening in the Red Fox Labs ecosystem. Um, I just do this because I love it, guys. Uh, and guess what? In 21 minutes down here on the bottom left, you can see the Akamoto uh, quarter, the gaming quarter in the Red Fox Labs Vault will be coming online. This is the trailer for it, sorry. So I'm going to do a small trailer breakdown. We're going to do a live reaction and have a look at the actual trailer and see what we can distinguish from it. And in the meantime, in the next 20 minutes, I'm thinking we can do a small review of the last quarter, which was the Kalanova quarter. There's only a couple four quarters, the Kalanova, Akamoto, the rest of them, we don't know it yet. But let's have a look at the Kalanova quarter and see how that went. Uh, let's look at the shop sales, the actual vault map of it, and anything else we can discern. And of course, we'll look at the Medium article explaining the Akamoto quarter. All right, let's do it. Hey there, it's me, the Metaverse Explorer. Welcome to another episode of The Vault, where I try and keep you updated with everything that's going on in the Red Fox Labs metaverse. I cover topics from all sides of the venture builder. The Vault, the NFT marketplace, Red Fox Finance, their gaming division like Cog Slam Game, and even their media arm. I do this because I like it. It's completely free. All you gotta do is hit that red button for me and ding that bell. Thanks for your support, guys. Let's get to this episode. So if you guys didn't know, the metaverse is totally heating up at the moment. Every other metaverse coin on the crypto in the industry is going crazy. People are starting to realize gone are the days of you buying a uh, a, a game for $60 and not uh, playing it for a week and then leaving it on the shelf. This time you get to actually earn your NFTs inside and you can sell this onto the next person or you can earn a yield from it. You can rent it out to someone. Uh, but metaverse, uh, the, the Red Fox Labs is actually doing a retail and entertainment driven metaverse rather than a game. They do have a gaming arm, but the vault is a lot bigger than the gaming arm. Uh, we look at the Kalanova uh, quarter and the Kalanova auction. These are some of the artist renderings for some of the shops. Let's have a look at the vault, actually. This is the vault map. So there's one at the top left. I'm going to increase this so you can see. Top left, top right, and bottom. So the bottom one was the Kalanova quarter. We're going to have a look at either one of these two as the uh, Akimoto quarter. Now, this is the map for the Kalanova. Holozone, Echo Zone, Clio, Eagle. And all of them have different shops inside them with different with different ones that you could have uh, bid on. And let's have a look at uh, Pix uh, R01 or Pix01, which is the first shop that went on sale. We'll see how that went. And actually, I did interview the guy that uh, got this shop, which was pretty interesting. He managed to snipe it at the last second from another wallet who had millions and millions and millions of dollars. So he, he got really lucky there. He was able to play the game. This is what the um, concept design looks for, looks at for the vaults. This, this is pretty cool. Um, and it's going to be in VR. We've already seen some VR gameplay for it. So let's have a look at the auction and see what actually happened. For the Kalanova quarter, we can see that the total RFOX bid for 29 shops only was 29,000. Rfox, which is roughly around 1 million Rfox per um, 1 million Rfox per um, per shop, um, roughly. Uh, Rfox rewards it goes to the Vfox holders. So Vfox is another uh, token in the Rfox ecosystem. It's just it's purely a rewards token. So 1% uh, of all transactions that happened inside the vault goes to Vfox holders. And then of course Rfox was also burnt 2.9 million, which is a tidy sum. Let's have a look at actually the uh, the auction and see what happened. So this is uh, Pix01. It got sold for six hundred and twenty thousand dollars. It wasn't six hundred and twenty thousand at the time of sale because um, it was two million Rfox, but Rfox was valued at a less price at that time. And so now, of course, this person's now have paid six hundred and twenty. If Rfox goes to zero, he would have paid uh, zero. If Rfox goes to a million dollars, he would have paid way more than a million dollars. And that's the Pix01 that he got, which is pretty cool. And you can see all of the other shops that were sold. 620, 470k, 186k. This was the outlier. This one was the lowest shop, $186,000. Oh, that's pretty, pretty, pretty heavy. Pretty heavy sum right there. Um, and then 388k, 300k. You can see they're all around the 300k range. 300, 280, 388. And I think the highest one was the first one, perhaps. I'm not sure. Yeah, so these are just 25 shops in the Kalanova quarter. There is the Akamoto quarter coming up. Let's have a look at what the Medium article says. 
So the Vault Metaverse um, by Red Fox Labs have the Akamoto Quarter coming on sale. And this was uh, released just November 23rd, so it's less than a couple of days old. November 23rd, Ho Chi Minh. Uh, yes, Spearhead the launch. Red Fox Vault has set the auction of 25 premium shops in the Akamoto on December 9. So that is about nine days from now. We have a trailer nine days till launch, which is a good enough time to build some hype, which is pretty good. Uh, they talk a little bit about stuff. Uh, they talk about the first uh, mint shops, which were um, various sold to various businesses and the community, uh, sold for a total of 29 million 500 Arfox, which was worth about 1.4 million at that time. Now, that being said, that was at that time. Now, Arfox has actually shot up in price to, to I, I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe 5x or so. I think this 29 million Arfox is actually $8 million at the moment. So... That's a tidy sum if you were able to, if you weren't uh, good enough for the shop and you were able to uh, hold your Rfox, which is pretty good. Akamoto, the newly introduced gaming quarter of the Rfox Vault is, I'll uh, increase it so you can see. Where are we? The new gaming quarter of Rfox is named after the combination of the words arcade in reference to popular gaming machines in uh, public venues and Nakamoto after Satoshi Nakamoto. As if we all know, everyone knows that. If you don't know him, you should probably read something. <laughs> Uh, aside from the shops available for auction, Akamoto will have several areas dedicated to gaming and live esports tournaments in the Red Fox Vault metaverse. Now, esports tournaments, awesome. That sounds like Axiom VTT, that sounds like Star Atlas, that sounds like Cogs Slam Game, which is the uh, um, Red Fox Games division of the Red Fox Labs uh, ecosystem. During the upcoming shop auction for Red Fox Vault Gaming Quarter, 25 shops available for interested parties. Um, they'll get access to customizing tools for their 3D shops textures, designs, uh, as well as managing the NFT assets on sale. In the future, they will also be provided hosted white label storefront website with an integrated NFT marketplace and NFT creation tools. Now, this is the big difference between this sale and the last sale. The last sale, they could only accept Rfox because this is what we wanted. But now they're trying to branch out and accept ETH at the same time. For this shop, for this round, shops will be available for sale in exchange for ETH, which will be used as a cryptocurrency of choice for the auction. Um, so what actually happens? So, um, this will enhance the token ops of Rfox through if fueled buybacks of Rfox. In addition, Rfox can more easily be uh, easily spread awareness of the Rfox ecosystem to a wider crypto and community, uh, while facilitating a more convenient onboarding process to the Rfox vault, which is awesome. Uh, what else is there? Nothing else. They don't really say anything else. Um, uh, financial instruments such as staking and liquidity pools created by the Rfox Finance, which is another arm of it, and potent online media and marketing support from Red Fox Media. Um, inaugural shops, September. Public awareness of the metaverse has increased significantly. This is totally true. Thus far, Red Fox is part of major blockchain companies. YGG, Icon, Red Fox Vault, and partners will use the metaverse to showcase their latest offerings. And if you guys didn't know, I did a previous video which covered most of their recent partnerships, which is pretty awesome. Um, and that's about it, guys. Let's go back to the uh, shop sale. Nine minutes. I'm excited. Nine minutes will give you a live uh, reaction to this Akamoto shop sale. Let's go. And I might actually go into the Discord and see what's happening. All right, it says it'll begin shortly, just right there. So let's wait for it to happen. Might take a while. A few moments later. Here we go. this before on Star Atlas. Is this like a generic YouTube introduction? Ooh. Guys, I'm just recording. Hello. Hey, can you hear me? Hey I guys. Oh, there we go. I had to change uh, devices. Yeah, we're called part just confirmed. You guys excited? I'm excited. 
Let's do this. Let's bring on the next quarter. I skipped a meeting with Wade and all that just to come here be with you guys. And I only see like four people. I'm so disappointed. You mean you mean they were skipping the meeting? No, so. I skipped the meeting. The meeting's going on right now. I said, hey, screw you guys are going on Discord. <laughs> Lovely. So for everyone watching, that's the uh, Pineapple Peak. He's one of the core team members of Red Fox Labs. We got five seconds till this uh, trailer comes out. Let's do it. Bring it. The Metaverse event of the year is here. Arkhamoto is the gaming quarter of the R Fox Vault. Get ready for the ultimate gaming experience. Earn rewards. Join multiplayer games, esports tournaments, or hunt down Easter eggs to win mind blowing prizes. Make your choice invest, own, or play. Are you ready for the next level? Only 25 shops are available for sale as NFTs on Ethereum. Uh, the I potential guess. is limitless. Don't miss out. Oh, fuck yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Those shops look bloody awesome. <laughs> That's the only word I've got to describe for it at the moment. Yeah, I like how they're uh, like totally different design than the previous ones, and especially because they're neon themed. Neon. A couple weeks back, it I talked just about works how with I got gaming, to... doesn't it? Neon, neon is where it's at. Cool. Uh, did you guys spot any uh, Easter eggs immediately? I don't think there was any. Well, the, the first thing that I, you know, sort of picked up was it said it, it spoke about esports. I want to know what's happening with esports. What sort of corporations or leagues or, or what are they going to bring into uh, into the vault based on esports? Because it's such a big um, such a big thing. So mm, funny you mentioned esports, but stay tuned. Oh, <laughs> that's Pineapple Pete dropping some alpha for us. Well, definitely the first thing that we're going to see is uh, cogs on there, uh, of course. Absolutely, you know, with the tournaments. <laughs> Yeah, everything in VR, and then and then maybe some proper esports. Axi, YGG will probably have a part in it. I'm hoping to see like a um, a racing league, like a either a Formula One or a or a um, ACC or iRacing uh, sort of tournament in there. That'd be awesome. But um, who knows? We have we have we have a racetrack, right? So whether it's chickens or cars or spaceships you know the track is there we should have three three legged races that would be cool <laughs> three legged races with oh, the avatar <laughs> beanbag races wasn't it d race uh ben did mention that before that was horse racing that's horse race d race is horse racing yeah you still have a track they can go on the track anything can go on the track kohu racing that would be cool the possibility is not gonna... alpha. Just, 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 I just say it out loud. I'm just you picking could, my mind. <laughs> you could, you could roll, you could roll cogs around a racetrack. Yeah, you can. That could be interesting. Like, like marble run, but cogs. Exactly. Yeah, that'd be cool, right? You wouldn't want to use a jaggy for that though. Oh, no, the jaggy is better because the jaggy, the jaggy is less resistant. It cuts the air. The whole... Yeah, exactly. Might chop a couple other cogs in half. Hey, <laughs> PVP, PVP. Or you could have like all the board apes in there as well. You could have like board ape avatars or whatever, lazy lions or whatever else is big at the moment. You could you could have them, those avatars racing off against each other. Could be hilarious. Possibilities are endless. All right, guys, so that's it for now. That was the trailer, which was uh, pretty bloody good. I'm going to do a small breakdown of it in another episode, I think. Uh, not a, No immediate uh, Easter eggs, but they were themed. Uh, they were uh, neon themed, and they sound and they looked pretty bloody good. So I'm excited to see them. Uh, drop a like down below for me if you want. Uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now. Ciao.